Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about torque acting on a current loop placed in a uniform magnetic field. When a current loop is placed in a uniform magnetic field, it will experience a torque. That means it will cause a rotation. So, you can see the working of the motor. In the working of the motor, there is a two magnet is there. In that magnet, in between the magnet, there is a coil. Is there? This coil is to be rotated. Okay, due to the torque acting on it. So this is a working principle of AC motor and DC motor. Okay, clear? And we can say this is a general construction. Okay. So now we will see how this torque is acting on this rectangular coil. Okay. So we consider. A rectangular coil that is A, B, C, D is placed in a uniform magnetic. The magnetic direction is like this. Okay. So initially, this rectangular loop is placed along the direction of magnetic. That means the plane of the loop is along the direction of magnetic or or the magnetic field and the area vector of the loop is making an angle 90 degree. Okay, how this area vector making an 90 degree? How you can find out the area vector? Here you see, here these two portions are slippery. This will help to rotate the coil in a fixed manner. Okay, so here this is a positive terminal. The current is comes like this. Current is going like this. Okay, this is the current in this loop. So, the area vector direction can be found out by right hand palm rule. You have to curve your palm in the direction of current. That means in this direction and thumb is the area vector direction. So, now you see the magnetic field is like this. The area vector is into it. That means in this same consider this is to be the this is to be the this palm is the rectangular loop. Okay, so the area vector we have like this in this form, like this magnetic field. So the magnetic field and area vector is making an angle, magnetic field and area vector is making an angle 90 degree. Okay, this is the case. Okay. B is acting along the plane of the loop. Okay, this is the case. Clear? Now we will see what are the forces are acting on it. The current is to be I. Here also the current is I. Here also the current is to be I. Okay. So I have considered this rectangular loop as a four straight current carrying conductor. That is one is AB, another is BZ, another is CD and another is AD. Okay. So, first of all, I am consider the force acting on the force acting on this current carrying conductor that is AB. So, force acting on AB, I am finding. Okay. So, we already studied when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, we will experience a force. Okay. So, what about AB? Force acting on AB is equal to ILB sin theta. Here, what is the length of this AB? That is B. The magnetic field is B into sin theta. What about the theta here? You look at here. This is a B. The magnetic field is like this. So the angle between the current and the magnetic field is 90 degrees. So this is become IBB sin 90. Okay. So you get as IBB. Okay. This is the thing. And now we see the direction of the magnetic force acting on it. How you find out the direction of the force acting on it? The direction of the force you can find out by right hand thumb rule or Fleming's left hand rule. So I am applying the right hand thumb rule here. So I place my right hand in the direction of current curl towards the direction of magnetic. So the force is acting into it. So here the force is like this into it. This is the force direction. Okay. So here you see that the force direction is like this. This is the force direction. Clear? This is the force direction acting on the A. Next, I will consider 
the force acting on C. The force acting on C D is equal to I into C D also is the same length that is B B B sin theta. What about C D? C D is like this. The current is like this direction, and the magnetic field is like this. So the angle between them is 90 degrees. So I B B sin 90. Okay. So I B B that is a C D. So I need to find out the direction of the force. The direction of the force can be find out by Fleming's left hand rule or right hand rule. Here I am applying the Fleming's left hand rule. Okay. How will you apply the Fleming's left hand rule? Stretch your three fingers, thumb, forefinger, middle finger. Place your forefinger in the direction of magnetic, middle finger in the direction of current. Then the thumb, thumb will give the force that. So I place like this. There is a magnetic field current direction, so I am getting the force is upwards. So here the force is acting in the upward direction. Okay, outwards. Clear? This is the force acting on the CD portion. Next time we will find out the force acting on BC. Force acting on BC is how much? Here you see that I B B sine theta. Sorry, here the length is how much? Here the length is to be A. So I A B sine theta. Okay, now you see that this is the BC portion. The current is like this BC portion. What about the magnetic field? Magnetic field also in the same direction. So the theta is equal to zero. So I A B, I A B sine zero you will get. Okay, so what about sine zero? Sine zero is zero. Okay, next you will see the force acting on A. Force acting on A. Force acting on AD is I A B sine theta. Okay, here also the length is A. So look at like this. This is AD. Okay, magnetic field is like this. So what about the angle between them? Angle between them is 180. I B B sine 180. You get sine 180 also zero. So force AD is equal to zero. Okay, so in this loop only two forces are acting on it. What about the magnitude of the two forces? You look at the magnitude. The two forces are to be in the same magnitude but in the opposite direction. So the net force acting on this loop is zero. Okay, the net force acting on the loop is zero. Net force acting on the loop is zero. But you look at this. These Forces are not acting on the same line of action. They have different line of action. Due to this, there is a torque will be created. Okay, so we can draw the diagram. So the like this. This is the parallel loop. Okay, and uh, you can see the force is to be acting in which direction? The force is to be like this direction. And another force is acting in this direction. Okay. And what about the axis? This is the axis. This is the axis. Clear? Okay. So the what about the torque formula? Torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance between the line of action. This is the line of action. This is the line of action. Perpendicular that distance is this. What about that distance? That is they are given as A. A is the distance. So force into A. What about the force value? That is I B B into A. So what do you get? I into A B. What about A B? For a rectangular coil, length into breadth is A B. So A B is equal to area. So I B B. Okay. Clear. So the torque is acting on this loop is I A B, where I is the current flowing through the rectangular coil. A is the area of cross section. B is the magnetic field this is about the this case now we will take a general case the plane is not in the direction of magnetic field that means we are consider next the area vector is making an angle theta with the magnetic field and we will derive the torque formula okay clear now we will see the rectangular loop area vector and B is making an angle theta. Okay, so how will you find out the area vector direction? 
the area vector direction you can find out by palm go curve your palm in the direction of current and the thumb will give the area vector direction so i'll get like this so previously how it is to do you got you got like this previously like this it was there now our plane is changed like this this much it is to be making okay so the man field is making angle like this okay so previously it is like this perfect the plane is to be along the direction of man field now it is to be changed okay so you can see that the area vector direction is like this here you can find out the man field direction you can get the man field direction is like this this is the b direction okay and the area vector direction is like this okay this angle is theta okay this angle is to be theta clear okay now we will do the torque formula so first we are going to find out the force acting on the rectangular loop we will consider this rectangular loop as a for current carrying conductor first we will find out the force acting on ab force acting on ab force acting on ab is equal to idb sin what about the angle what about the angle that is theta you look at here this is ab the current is acting like this and the b direction like this so the angle between them is 90 so idb sin 90 so the force is idb we will get that is fab okay so what about the direction of this force this direction of the force can be find out by fleming's left hand rule or right hand rule now i am going to apply right hand rule i will place my right hand in the direction of current curl towards the direction of man field so i will get the force direction is going into it that means this is a force direction here okay this is the force direction clear next i am going to find out the force acting on the c force acting on c so that is equal to i into bb i into bb sin theta okay here the length is to be b here this breadth is to be a so what about the theta look at here what about cd cd is the current is going like this the magnetic field is to be like this okay so you look at here i b b I B B sine ninety. The angle between them is ninety, so you will get I B B. This is the force acting on C. And what about the direction? Direction you can find out by Fleming's left hand rule or right hand rule. Here I am going to apply left hand rule. This is man field. This is current. This is force. Okay, man field current. So I am getting the force upwards. This is the force direction here. Okay, so the force direction is upwards. Clear? Okay. so this the force acting on ab is ib b and cd is ib okay next we will find out the force acting on this bc force acting on bc so for this bc this is the magnetic field direction and the area vector is like this area vector is like this so this angle is theta okay that angle is theta clear okay then now we will see the force acting on bc is equal to f bc is equal to i into length is a into b into sin of what about the angle a and b is making an angle is to be theta so what about this angle this is 90 minus theta because this and this is to be 90 so this is 90 minus theta so sin 90 minus theta what about sin 90 minus theta sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so iab cos theta you will get okay iab cos theta okay now we will see the direction of the force the direction of the force can be find out by fleming's left hand rule or right hand rule here i am applying the left hand rule i place my place my forefinger in the direction of the man field and the 
this finger. This finger is to be in the direction of current. So I will get the this is the current direction, this is the force direction. So the force direction is acting along the axis in this direction. This is the force acting. This is the force is BC. Okay, clear? Okay. Next we will see what is the force acting on AD. The force acting on AD is I A B sin. How much is that? Here the magnetic field is acting in this direction and the area vector is like this. This is the area vector. This angle is theta. So this angle is 90 minus theta. We need this angle. This is also, this and this are opposite angles. So this is also 90 minus theta. Clear? Okay. So here what you will get? Here 90 minus theta. What about sin 90 minus theta? That is cos theta. So F is equal to IAB cos theta. Okay. And we want to find out the direction. The direction can be find out by plumbing's left hand row. Okay. So place my forefinger in the direction of the man field and the current is to be the my current direction is to be the middle finger. So like this, you see, like this. So this finger is acting downwards along the axis. So the force acting on AD is like this. This is the force acting on AD. Okay. So look at the BC, FBC and S, FAD. FBC and FAD having same magnitude and are in the opposite direction. So the F net is due to these two forces. 0 and these two are acting along the same line of action. This is the line of action. So this force will not produce any torque. Okay. So the torque will be produced only due to these two forces. Okay. You will see this line of action is different or not. Okay. This is about a, this. Okay. Now we will see what about the torque acting on it? Okay, so this is a loop that is the loop is to be like this, and the force is acting in which direction? That is the force acting on AB is acting in this direction, and force acting on CD. This is the force acting on CD that is acting in this direction. So look at here. This is the line of action of this. This is the line of action of this. These two forces have same magnitude and the opposite direction. So the net force is zero. So the net force is acting on the loop is to be zero. Okay. F net is to be zero. Previously, the force acting on BC and AD is already zero. So these two forces are also zero. Okay. So the net force acting on the loop is zero, but these two forces have different line of action. So it will produce a same torque. Okay. So what about the axis? Axis is like this. This is the axis. So here you look at the magnetic field direction is like this is the magnetic field direction. Okay. And what about the area vector? Area vector is this is the area vector. Okay. So angle between this and this is theta and this angle is how much? This is 90 minus theta. Okay. Clear? That is to be 90 minus theta. Okay. Now we will find out the torque acting on it. Torque formula. What about the torque? Torque formula is force into perpendicular distance between them. What about the force? Force is F into the perpendicular distance between the line of action. This is the line of action. So the perpendicular distance between them is we can get this is the perpendicular distance. Okay. So I will consider triangle P Q R. This is the triangle for this triangle P R is the perpendicular distance. Okay. So this is 90 minus theta. So this is also 90 minus theta. Why? It is also 90 minus theta. Because you consider this is a power line. This is a power line. Same line. This angle and this angle are equal. Okay. 
clear so what about pr what about the pr for this triangle this triangle for this triangle pqr what about cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta equal to adjacent side that is pr divided by this is the hypotenuse that is how much that is a so cos 90 minus theta means sin theta so sin theta into a is equal to pr so here I am replace this PR into sin theta into A. Okay. Sin theta into A. What about F? F value is I A B, the magnitude I. Sorry, I B B. I B B into into A sin theta. Okay. Here. Yeah. So I into A into B sin theta will take here A is a vector quantity, B is a vector quantity. This is the torque. This is the torque. Clear? Okay. And now you see this we can write in the vector form that is I into A cross B. We can write like this. This is also the torque formula. Okay. Clear? This is the torque acting on the current carrying rectangular loop placed in a uniform magnet field. Okay. And we can change this formula in another way. Look at here. What about magnetic moment of a loop? Magnetic moment. Moment of a loop that is M is equal to N I A. M having the same direction of A. Okay. So here N is equal to 1. So M is equal to what you get N A. Sorry, IE. Okay, clear? So, in this equation, the IE I am changing to M. So, what about the torque formula? Torque is equal to, we will get it as M B sin theta. Where M is the magnetic moment. And I am writing the torque also in the vector form that is equal to M cross B. M cross B. Okay, clear? Where theta is the angle between M and B. This is to be little bit B. Good. Okay. Because the torque acting on the electric dipole placed in a uniform electric field is P E sin theta. P is the electrical dipole moment there. E is the electric field and sin theta is the angle between P and B. So, in the electrostatic, the torque is what you get? P E sin theta. Okay. Compare with these two. You change the electrostatic variable to magnetic variable. That is electric dipole moment into magnetic dipole moment. That is M. Yeah. And electric field into magnetic field. You will get the same form. Okay. Clear? Okay. Then, we will discuss the two cases. That is a case one. Case one. Theta is equal to 0. If theta is equal to 0, what about the torque? Torque is equal to, you will get it as 0. Already we got it as F net is equal to 0. So, if the angle between A A vector and B is to be 0, that net force acting on the rectangular loop is 0 and the torque acting on the rectangular loop is 0, then we can say that this loop is in stable equilibrium. Okay? Clear? Loop is in stable equilibrium and the case 2, case 2, theta is equal to 190 degree. If theta is equal to 190 degree, the torque what will get? That is MB sin 190, sin 190 also 0. So the torque is to be 0. We already got F net is 0. So now you see that the net force is 0, net torque is 0. So now the rectangular loop is in unstable equilibrium because it is to be tried to move. Okay, that is in unstable equilibrium, but if theta is equal to zero, the dipole is in stable equilibrium. Okay, this is about the, the torque on a current loop in a uniform magnetic.